Hey everybody! Welcome back to Recordology. Happy September. Can you believe it, you guys? September. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are or whenever you're watching this. Maybe you're watching this in December, in January, March, who knows? Two years from now, five years from now. If, I, if you're watching for five years from now, that's awesome that it's even around that long. Anyway, okay, so today I wanted to do a little video. This is specifically in reaction to a lot of questions I get about automatic turntables and can you use them as manual turntables? People are confused about that. So I wanted to touch base on that and do a little video. So yes, you can, that's the short answer, absolutely. Uh, an automatic turntable such as this LP3 from Audio-Technica will also function as a completely manual turntable. So a lot of times people will say, well, what should I get? Should I get an LP60 or an LP120? And the question to, the, that I ask back is, well, do you want a manual turntable or an automatic? And, you know, sometimes there's some confusion around that. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know kind of what you can do with an automatic in the realm of manual operation, which is kind of weird. So to recap, uh, the LP3 is kind of like a hybrid between the LP60 and the LP120. And unlike the LP60, you get a removable head shell. You can upgrade the stylus, cartridge, whatever, and you can manually set the uh, counterbalance. So you get those upgrade options, but you still get the manual, or excuse me, the automatic push button operation. It's two speeds, 45 and 33, and then you pick the size of the record, either seven inch or 12 inch. And I've upgraded a couple things here. I've put up, or I've put on an acrylic platter, and I've upgraded the uh, spacer to a nice heavy 45, or a nice heavy aluminum one. So if you wanna play a 45, I'm just gonna show you the automatic functions real quick. We got the speed selected as 45, the size is seven, and you just hit start. Spins it up automatically, raises the tone arm, rotates the tone arm, and lowers the tone arm. And then you can let that record play through completely, and it will, at the end of the record, return the tone arm, turn itself off, and you're good to go. So you can play it and forget it. You don't need to worry about coming back and turning it off, it does it for you. Completely automatic, and if you wanna stop at any moment, you can you know, press the stop button, and it raises the tone arm, puts it back at its home rest, and stops the platter from spinning. Pretty simple. But what if you don't want to play it? Like, what if you want to play a certain song? And a lot of times the question comes to me in the form of something along the lines of, well, what if I want to play a specific song with an automatic turntable? If I hit start, it's just going to go to the first track, to the first song, which is correct. So how would I go about playing the third song? And that's where the manual operation really comes in. So with the LP3 and with pretty much every automatic turntable, including the LP60, you can still operate it manually. In order to do so, you simply raise the tone arm just like you would on a manual one, bypass all the buttons. Don't need to worry about that except for the speed. You need to make sure the speed is right. So we're at 33 RPM, uh, but you just ro rotate it over and it'll start spinning up the, the platter will start spinning automatically, just like a regular one, a regular turntable. And then you can lower with the cueing lever just like that. Complete manual operation. Move over here, play this song, lower it, whatever you wanna do. So you have complete manual control in addition to the automatic control. Even, check this out, auto return. So when the record's done playing, it'll shut itself off put itself back into position, and you're good to go. Another thing too, it does have the adjustable uh, counterbalance and it does have anti-skate, which is good to know as well. Now, one scenario in which this comes in really handy is if you're playing an odd size record, 10 inch record. Because this is two presets for the auto start or the automatic function, which is seven inch to 12 inch, you put on a 10 inch record, don't sweat it. Just do it manual operation. Start it by manually moving the tone arm over and lower it and you're ready to go. And it'll play the record. It'll finish it out just perfectly and it'll return the tone arm. It'll turn itself off. That's really all there is to it. So basically just a quick video to show you that yes, indeed, you can use an automatic turntable. Every one, as far as I'm concerned, every one that I've ever come across, you can use an automatic turntable as a manual turntable as well. So anyway, there you go, guys. Hope you thought that was interesting. If you did, give me a thumbs up, 
share it out. Definitely make sure you're subscribed. And one more thing, if you do want to pick up the LP3, highly recommend it. It's a great turntable. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.